rush there coming from the French. How about they, the British really plowing into them? How about the, the numbers of the French seem to be quite well set in certain areas? Again, that uh, a Spanish fighter there proving extremely useful for the UK. Very, very tall, tall and using that halberd to his advantage there. A difficult uh, take down, and it appears that uh, nobody's been taken down here. We've got the first felled fighter. Yet another French fighter goes down here. This is starting to hold up a little. It has been pushed back to the corners. You have two French fighters working on that British fighter there. And in fact, the numbers of French bodies in that corner are superior to the British fighters. Again, they're going to have to move forward effectively fast if they want to get this victory. Big blows there coming from the British captain. The French, however, holding back a bit. I can see uh, some of the British fighters being a little bit tentative in the back there. And there seems to be a something of a, a drop in energy. As you can see here, all these uh, blue circles at the back. And a great takedown that unfortunately he did fall down himself uh, after tripping over some of the already grounded French fighters. You can see in the corner, there's, uh, there's quite a number of them. I think that the UK have actually got the, the superiority in terms of numbers now. But uh, again, you've got, a, you've got a few French fighters still standing there. Get a nice takedown there from the UK fighter. They're working away at the French fighter now. And we'll see how much more of this he can take. And another French fighter as well. Two remaining in this corner. Will they be able to answer back to this? Or will the British take the first victory? Big blow there from the Frenchman. And it's a takedown, very nice, and I think the fight may be stopped there, however, it appears to be going. Uh, taking down this French, my goodness, with some enormous blows to the uh, to the helmet there, and to the back, and the fight is stopped. Very important victory there for the British. And, uh, you can see the damage that that, uh, that French fighter there took to the helmet. First round, 12 to 0, United Kingdom. It's a good victory there for the British, so we're happy with that. Please get ready for the second round. Just a few moments before we start the second round. Uh, and you do see uh, a bit more aggression from the British fighters. There was a certain point where I thought the... Uh, I thought the, uh, the French had pulled United it back slightly. Ukraine versus Poland. Please, please get ready. Just a readjustment of, uh, of armor there. I think the, uh, the French will need to go over their tactics again. Oh, very, very nice work there from the British, and they'll be, uh, as I said, they'll be pleased with that. However, the French earlier uh, disposing of the, uh, uh, the American team, I think they'll uh, certainly have something to say. And the UK got a good bit of support here in uh, Prague. French also. And the French is uh, one of the largest teams which has uh, which has come here to Prague. We have 40 members. First ready. A very very developed country, an established country, especially in the 21 versus 21. Uh, luck's not on their side this time around. However, we do have the five versus five tournament coming up. As you said, that'll be in just under an hour. Second round. And we go now to round two of this fight. fight. The UK versus France. And the France team goes rushing into it. And they've pushed well back into the UK lines. Absolutely broken that line we spoke about before that the UK had. And some great kicks there from the French team, showing a lot more aggression this time uh, than the, the UK team. Slowing down slightly, you can see the mercenary fighter there, and of course you've got a large group of UK fighters who've got a takedown there of the Frenchman. How are they going to need to get back involved in it? And we can see that the UK fighters have been pushed back quite a lot, and they're going to have some great difficulty here working uh, working his way out of that uh, that closure of French bodies there. And they said we had a great takedown there. The Frenchman goes for a lunge, can't quite pull it off. Again, you can see Nice effort there from the UK fighter. Just 
moving out slightly and just take down there from the French. And we've got a lot of uh, UK fighters who seem to be fairly idle there. This, I'm not sure if that fighter's actually fallen down, but he's got his, ha his arm on the, the list. And the UK fighters have to take advantage of that situation. And some uh, massive blows being dealt to the French fighter there. And a great takedown there from the UK. Attacking now with a halbeard. And this is all going the UK's way. Absolutely fantastic victory for the United Kingdom. Again, solid fight there. And I think the UK have got uh, got something to prove. I've said it before, I'll say it again. What a close match. Two zero victory there. The, uh, the British team will be very, very happy with that. Uh, still, it was close. Uh, the second one. And next Seven to zero. Czech Republic versus Italy. We go now to uh, Ukraine versus the home team, Czech Republic, and Germany against versus Italy. Italy. Teams, please get ready. Don't go away. We'll be right back now. Congratulations on the victory. It was really, really great. What helped you to win? The, uh, the French are a really, really strong team, but uh, we, we've always had a big uh, rivalry with them, so we had to win. It was, it was a passion thing for England. How do you train back at home? Uh, has the strategy changed since last year and the training strategy as well? Very much, very much. We've been working a lot more on strength and endurance, um, more so endurance, actually. The, uh, and, and tactics has become a lot more important. We've had a lot more experience in, in international tournaments across Europe. Rule Britannia! <laughs> Rule Britannia! So uh, it's, it's given us a lot more experience. Um, the 21s is a different kind of battle, though. It's, it's not something you can really practice for. Uh, the size of the list, uh, does it matter? It's, it's a lot smaller than we're used to. We're, lot, we're more used to a larger list where movement is a lot more in play. Uh, but this, this means that it's a lot more of a grind, um, but uh, it, it, it's good. I think it's, uh, it, it promotes more combat rather than running around and hugging and falling down. Thank you very much. We wish you good luck during the whole fest. Thank you very much. And we join the list now, eagerly awaiting the next fight, which we'll see uh, the home crowd.